children. Okay, the kids, you can ask your parents, because I said something during the tournament, and, and a little while ago, so the person that tells me this number, child, the parents can help the child. I said, I've got, I've got, uh, this is for kids, it's, it's like snacks and, and toys for kids and stuff like that. I think we have all the voters in. I don't think we have anybody here to win this one. Christopher Flint. All right, you're on the one. They got to yell quick. That's a blank ticket. You're a blank. Danny Bush? Danny, are you still here? Bradley Petri? Don? Donald Van Tassel. I know you're here. I see you over there. The scales in our clothes. I'm going to go in the office. I'm going to calculate. Who's the, who's okay. for the first one that raises their hand that does gardening? That, no, the women that does gardening gets his basket. You had to be over here in the front of the stage. There you go. All right. Right now, the checks. Uh, we have a new program for those checks that are coming out. I know it's starting to rain again, so I'll make it quick. Uh, if anyone uh, has gotten any pictures of the the bass that were caught today, I saw. I did see a couple cameras out there. Uh, we've got uh, W WNTS uh, TV uh, here. Uh, the, he's been taping the event. If you have those pictures, uh, it's www.wnts.tv. Yeah. So go ahead and mail those pictures of the, of the bass to him, and he's going to put a story together. He's going to edit it uh, and put it together, uh, and it's going to air sometime uh, during the week, I think. Uh, and this is Robert Jard. Uh, from the uh, WNTS, WNTS TV news team. Uh, and one thing I wanted to say, uh, this is, like I said, the first time we're in Messina. Uh, the community, Mike Gleason, uh, has been outstanding. He contacted me last year to bring us up here. Uh, he has been outstanding to work with. He has worked tremendously hard uh, to bring this event here. We had quite a few issues that uh, came up the past couple days that he he really worked hard to resolve those. So my thanks to Mike, uh, and we'll be talking to him uh, a little bit later on. The uh, the country club where we had our registration last night, they were outstanding. They put on a meal for the anglers. Uh, the anglers had to pay, but the food was, and I can attest to the food, was absolutely delicious. Because uh, uh, they uh, they really uh, outdid themselves uh, with the food. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, in Lakeview uh, Hotel, down a little bit, with uh, uh, 
Bob's going to host the after hours party. I don't know how many are going to go down there, but there's some bush beer down there uh, free of charge. Uh, so if you, you're all welcome to go down there, I've got to break this down a little bit, and I'll be bringing, I'll be going down there, putting a the tent up. So you're all welcome to to go down there, and talk about fishing, talk about whatever. Uh, Lakeview Hotel right down 131, and I believe it's on the left hand side. So my thanks to the community. Um, and as I said, Marlene is uh, writing the co with checks. And I, I've been saying all day, I'm paying out seven places. I am paying out seven places, but it's six play, the top six place finishers and Big Bass. So that was the seventh place that I'm paying as far as Big Bass. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it takes to, for the cutoff, uh, because if I did that, then people would leave. So we got to have some people around to applaud for these, for these guys. I told these guys uh, last night that the top three place finishers uh, on the boater side, I will check their insurance. Uh, these these anglers have to have three hundred thousand dollars of uh, insurance on their boat uh, to fish these events. Uh, so I will check the top three place finishers. Uh, I am going to check your insurance, uh, and I will hold your check. Um, I'm going to give you your check and your plaque. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take your check back to keep you here so I can do an interview for the ABA website. Because uh, if I give you your check, you normally leave. And I, to finish my job, I have to do the interview, otherwise I get in trouble. Uh, and that's the only way I can keep the uh, top finishers, uh, I'll be interviewing uh, the, actually the uh, top finisher, the first place finisher, co-angler, top finisher, co-angler. Uh, I send that story into ABA. Uh, our writer writes it up and they puts it on the website and if I get my job done right tonight, it'll be up on the website uh, probably Sunday uh, night or Monday morning early. Uh, when I get done with this, I should be able to post the, the uh, early results up on the web if I can get a satellite connection on the laptop. So. I'll check with Miss Marlene over here to see if she's got the co angler checks done. Actually, it looks like she's got the co angler checks done, and I think she's putting them in order. Let me go back here. And a big fish of 418, Mike Leaguer. Mike, you here? Oh, he's over here. Mike, if I'm not mistaken, he'll be back up here again. He gets a check for $166. Congratulations, Mike. Stick around. He'll be coming back up. All right. In fifth place, Robert, Robin Rome of Malone, New York. And he had a weight of 923. He gets a check of $182. In fourth place, from Cleveland, Ohio, with a weight of 925 and a 3.37 kicker, Ron Buckeye Turlock, $212. <laughs> yeah, we're going, to, we're going to have steak later on, or not? I was here 20 years ago on a vacation. Same pattern. He said he fished here 20 years ago and used the same identical pattern he used then. But the fish yeah. are bigger. But the fish are bigger, he said. He's from Sparta, New Jersey, with, with 10.11 pounds, with three fish limit, 399 kicker, Frank Appaluccio. I'm going to change your name. I like to say Big Bass Mike Leaguer. Uh, his Big Bass was 418. 418. Another check for $80. How much is that a pound? Is that two bucks a pound? Four pounds? And here's your plant. 
stand right there in front of that weekend series banner. Oh, that's about 20 bucks a pound, isn't it? $80? Yeah. All right, Mike, thank you. All right, your winner on the co-angler side, he had a 3.51 kicker, a total weight of for three fish, ladies and gentlemen, 10.66. Put your hands together for James Perez Jr. He gets a check for $908. That's gas money going home, isn't it, James? <laughs> Congratulations, Jim. There's your check. I'm going to give it to you now, but you got to stick around because I'm going to take it back over here. Here's your plaque. Stand right over here for a picture. See, I'm nasty like that. I keep his check. Okay. Thank you, James. Give me the check back. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute for the, for the interview. I had to do the interview. You can keep the plaque for now. Here, Marlene, here's James's check. That's his first place check. You got the boaters ready? Good job, dude. In sixth place for the boater, had a big fish, a 473. From Campbell, New York, had 1596 for a total weight, Woody Henyon. A check for $333. All right, gotcha. Thank you, Stephen. All right, the winner on the boater side and a check for one thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars. Four point one two pound big fish. Eighteen point zero six pounds. James Kane. James Mena. James has been with us quite a while. Oh, James, I see red and black. I see red and black. I see it says Bass Cat. There's uh, all those Triton, Triton bucks left on the table. $1,816. There's your plaque for first place. I'm going to steal your check back. I can do that. I can, oh, okay, I can do that. All right, James.